First, he denied the claims. Then on Monday, he resigned. Now the man who was Britain's highest ranking Catholic cleric has admitted his standards fell short. In a statement, Cardinal Keith O'Brien said, however, I wish to take this opportunity to admit there have been times that my sexual conduct has fallen below the standards expected of me as a priest, archbishop and cardinal. To those I have offended, I apologize and ask forgiveness. This is a huge significant step in the church. There has never been anyone as senior as Cardinal O'Brien making such a fundamental apology outright for inappropriate behaviour or, or behaviour that would fall below that standard expected of someone. Interestingly, with, across the three criteria that he's been ordained into, priest, bishop and cardinal. In Edinburgh, the Archbishop of Glasgow has been brought in while a replacement for Cardinal O'Brien is found. On Thursday, he said the events of the past week would take time to heal. This archdiocese is, is in a state of shock for the loss of its shepherd. And let me assure you that I and the whole church in Scotland share your pain and dismay. The Cardinal was due to travel to Rome to take part in the conclave to elect a new Pope. Instead, the Vatican has said it will look into the allegations made against him, allegations that centre around three priests and a former priest. At St Mary's Cathedral, the congregation left Sunday Mass with an apology from their former leader, but no news on what happens next. The Cardinal says he plans to spend the rest of his life in retirement, but that may not be enough for those who've made allegations against him. Stephen Douglas, Sky News.